Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warding Show. And yesterday on the show, I had a two-part edition where I made my very own hot sauce. So I have a few things going on with my hot sauce today. It's been about 24 hours or so. So after blending it down, I haven't tried it since. I tried a little bit warm. I put them in uh, canning jars, and I have about one and a half full based on my recipe. And if you want to look back at the last two videos and see what all is in my hot sauce and how I made it, um, you can go ahead and do that. In the last two videos, it was a two-part edition, and I tried a little bit hot, but I didn't maybe necessarily get a good enough uh, um, gauge on the taste. So I'm going to taste it again in my tasting spoon. And maybe put a few on a plate. It almost turned out, I'm not, it's almost saucy, it's kind of saucy, saucy. So I'm going to put a little on my plate and try it with some uh, dipping crackers too and see how that goes for you at home that want to know. In case you want to try and make your own as well with the ingredients I gave on the prior videos. So here are the three names that people have given me so far. And if you want to add to that name list, I'll probably try and pick by the end of the week. So here are the three names that have been given to me so far for the hot sauce. Brad's Brace Yourself Heat Sauce. Mr. Brad's Table of Spice Hot Sauce. Mr. Brad Warren's Super Duper Hot Sauce. So those are the ones that have been given to me. If you have a comment or you uh, prefer or have a preference on one of those, you can put it in the comments down below or one of your own or let me know. But uh, I was trying to come up with a name for my hot sauce. And maybe after trying it, if I can describe it, maybe you'll have more of a clue of what it's like too. So I am going to open it. It's got that peppery smell to it. Oh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> yep. Here, I'll distribute it evenly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No. Ah, here it is, a big full spoonful. Are you going to smell it first? It smells very peppery, but you do have a hint of some of those other, like, uh, garlicky, oniony scents to it. I mean, there's other scents to it. It's got that reddish-brownish kind of um, saucy kind of color to it. Well, here we go. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's hot sauce. <clears throat> so, it burns right away. Um, trying to get a gauge on the taste. I do taste some of the other things in there a little bit. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of the onion. Um, there's not just straight pepper. I can taste some of the other flavors. Um, the cilantro I can taste a little bit. The honey that I put in yesterday at the end, I can't really taste that. There's not much sweetness other than that natural earthy kind of pepper, a little bit maybe sweetness there, but, um, it's a, it's a hot sauce. It's probably about what I said with all those hot peppers in there. Um, I've had hotter hot sauce, but it's, it's hot enough. It's probably like a 10 for an average person. Um, chili head, probably around a three-ish. It's probably like here, somewhere near two million, three million Scoville ballpark with the hot peppers probably. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit extra out, see how it is for dipping. <clears throat> a few crackers in there too. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't have the capabilities, the pepper capabilities or growth or like time resources to mass produce my own hot sauce at this point. So, um, fortunately I can't share, but, um, like I said in the last videos, I kind of did give my list of ingredients. So if you want to try and make your own at home, um, you can feel free to do that. Oh, that burn sticks with you all the way down. So... There's a few just chips. I'm going to try it on a chip a little bit. Dipping like a salsa. 
probably not quite as hot, but we'll see. A little bit on a chip. Um, this would probably be more manageable for most people. I mean, this is hot too, or if you put it in a chili, it would be good. Probably put it on like a taco a little bit, it'd be good. <clears throat> An average person would probably be able to handle a few drops mixed in like that. But straight, it's hot. I can see pepper seeds in here, yeah, and different stuff, so I'm gonna finish most of this up. I almost wanna try it. Ooh, got a nice good burn going with that, for sure. So, Again, um, if you want to put your input in on a name or vote or let me know if you like one of the other names, the names given so far. One more time, I'll repeat them. Brad's Brace Yourself Heat Sauce. Two, Mr. Brad's Table of Spice Hot Sauce. And three, Mr. Brad Warren's Super Duper Hot Sauce. So that's it. I'll have to utilize these and go through them pretty quickly as, um, I didn't ferment or preserve them, so that means I only have a few weeks to eat them down, probably like two to three max, and that'll be that. You can make yours, um, you can ferment it, you have to prepare yours a different way. If you do it that way, it'll last you probably a several months to maybe like a year. Um, but you can freeze them like this one if I wanted to. This fall one, I could freeze it and it would last me obviously longer until I took it out from being frozen if I want to do that. Um, but that's up to you. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen the prior two videos up to this, the um, making and ingredient list, and then me trying it originally and blending it, you can look back on those two videos. Uh, just did those yesterday. So this has been the official taste test. Flavor's good. Heat is definitely there if you like that kind of thing. And, uh, Stay tuned because we have another special update coming up real soon from the Mr. Brad Warden Show. But anyway, we'll see you then. So we'll see you real soon on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.